Do we right. count down or what? Or like... No, it's it's showing live on Zoom and now it says on Facebook. So okay. welcome back, y'all. This is Monday Motivations with the Change Physician. I am Melissa Katie, the Challenge Doctor, with my co-host, Dr. Kevin Kakaro. And oh, let's see here. I, I need to make sure that my peeps on the Challenge Doctor are seeing me. So if you're seeing me here on the Challenge Doctor, it's only because we're cross-posting from our Change Physician Facebook page. And on Monday Motivations, we like to chat about our motivations or things that we were inspired to do last week and what's coming up. And of course, the episodes are on our podcast and what's coming up as well. So how are you doing today, Kevin? <laughs> After a full afternoon. How are you doing today, Kevin? <laughs> I, I think I'm doing okay. Yeah, um, well, we've yeah. been going at it for a little bit. I know. Like, are we getting a little punchy here or what? I'm yeah. trying to figure out how to share it to my, to like just to my friends because, you know, hey, folks, they can need to get it. you just put it in the comments and just, or can you cross post? Would you like me to cross post to somebody else? I don't know if I can. I just want to put it on my own feed. And I, I normally have no problem doing this, but every time I feel like I'm, every time I use Facebook, it does something new. Mm. And, uh, Okay, let me see if this works. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, yeah, anything. Well, things are things are well. <laughs> well, while he's well. trying to figure that out, why don't I mention that this past week we had uh, two different episodes released. Dr. Christopher Liu, who's an orthopedic surgeon who ventured into the entrepreneurial world, that you can uh, chime in to learn about his journey and how he kept positive when there was challenges along the way. And we also had a host chat uh, where we talked about doctoring for early physicians and some of the kind of traps and mindsets that we can have <laughs> shifting from that world of training to now being out on your own. So if you are an early physician or just curious about kind of that, that mindset shift, uh, feel free to check out episode 72. And uh, this coming up week, we have a cool double episode. Uh, Lamia Boric, Dr. Lamia Boric, who did I say that right, Kevin? Boric. Boric. Yeah, Boric. Yeah. Boric. She's a Bosnian refugee who started to do locums after practicing for a while. And do you want to chime into that a little bit? Yeah, because that sounded a little butchered right her. there. What's <laughs> yeah. that? She was a she was a refugee as a teenager. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because it sounds but, like she was a Bosnian let's refugee. Let's get the timeline She started straight. doing locums, locums, <laughs> tenums. Now, Go let ahead, me one of my favorite people and um, has a has an awesome story. Well, not. An awesome story is is it, 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 to bring in different circumstances. We live in such a privileged country, and we've been relatively stable, uh, barring the you know the Texas snowpocalypse and everything else. Um, but um, what I like about Lamia is is she related her experiences as a Bosnian refugee because she was a teenager in the middle of the Bosnian conflict, which if you guys remember or don't remember, that was a pretty hellish time. Fled with her family to um, I like. It was Croatia. But anyway, when she immigrated to the United States, started practicing here, and she's really sort of taken care of her practice and thrived through locum tenens, which is also, we've had other people kind of talk about that as well. So that's a great episode. And then we brought her back again because um, I'm really enjoying these doubles. Like, you know, you get the first episode, you hear people's stories, and then we get to do a deeper dive on something else. So we brought her back and um, kind of give you the big picture on locums and, 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 beyond locums. I would just say that would be another good one for particularly earlier career physicians or those who are getting burned out. They are stressed out thinking they have no options. Uh, it's to really understand there are quite a few options that you have as a physician. So I'm excited for those episodes. I thought they were great to record and I'm great mm -hmm. to uh, looking forward to seeing them again. So yeah, that that's, was fun. That's episode 73 and 74. And it definitely gives you an idea of kind of the pros and cons of that world. And I think the one thing I'll mention is that it's amazing when people just need a sense of flexibility in their lives or just be able to kind of say yes or no without any, uh, I guess, guilt and or sense of obligation. Like you can kind of create your own schedule based. And, and there is there are some cons uh, or, you know, challenges too based on demand that's out there. So um, definitely worth a listen if you've ever even contemplated or considered it. Uh, I would definitely listen to both of those episodes. Um, and of course, our money motivations, we review last motivation. So last week, I was wanting to get back on the uh, 
uh, the train for getting into workout since I was wanting to do no sweat uh, activity during my days of no water, uh, no showers <laughs> during the snowzilla here in Texas. Um, and, you know, I think for me, this upcoming week is to actually, after several weeks of saying, I'm going to take it up a notch, actually do it. So um, trying to make it more of a priority. Uh, it's getting a little late in the evening now. I meant to do it by now, but starting tomorrow. We'll oh, do you that. can do it. You can do a quick one. Yeah, right. I could. You can you can get in there and do something fast or yeah, little twenty minute or yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I, I I I'm gonna support you on that. You could do it. Thanks. Yeah. What about you? Well, I, I was trying to remember what I explicitly said, and I think it was this. But if someone looks at the old video and tells me <laughs> otherwise, don't come back because. But I'm pretty sure I said I need to do my taxes because uh, I was supposed to do it two weeks ago and then something come up. And I remember I was I was very aware of the decision I made on the day I had scheduled to do taxes to say, I don't want to do them. I am going to do these on this weekend, which was this last weekend. And um, so I did. And it took, you know, there's all, you know, the jokes about taxes. So it shouldn't take as long as it does. But when you work for yourself, I think it gets a little bit more confusing. And yeah. so, um that's always the big deal. And one of the reasons I don't necessarily use an accountant as much anymore is what I found is I have to dig up all this information anyway. <laughs> uh, and that is what takes all the time. Like I have to, I'm literally going month by month by month by month through the credit card statement, through the checking account statement. And it's like, once I have all that, putting it the little numbers isn't that hard so i don't that's yeah. Yeah, anyway so yeah. i that's what takes the time it took me um a little over a day to do it but it is done and it always feels so good i always feel you know you feel like you accomplished something so it's sort of like a love-hate relationship yeah you do it it's miserable while you're doing it but then you get it done and you're like just got it out of the way i and i did it and i did it and it felt good oh, and that's great and oh. the little turbo tax said that I'm at low risk at audit because I was very concerned about and said, you have low risk. We only saw two little things that could potentially flag a thing. And I you know, shouted in glee. Yeah, no audits for me, hopefully. But anyway, yeah. so that was my motivation. And that's what I did. And um, and what's this week entail? Can I just relax? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to. That's called self-compassion. This is going to be relaxing, relaxing week. I'm still... Um, you know, my other one has always been my, my strength training and I'm continu continuing to do that. I really, really enjoy it. And that's all I'm going to do. That's literally all. You don't, I'm gonna focus on. You don't need my permission. I do. You're, you're allowed to. No, I, I need your permission, Melissa. <laughs> this is what I use you for is, is you're not, you know, like the little angel head sitting on my shoulder there. You can do that, Kevin. You Are you sure you don't have horns? I mean, <laughs> well, really. well, maybe you do. Maybe you're both. Maybe you're on both yeah, sides. I got to be both. Maybe. a little bit more worrisome there <laughs> but well, very cool anyway. well we intentionally gave ourselves a, a short episode for our monday motivations uh because we've been we've been working hard before this came on we have. so we have you'll, yeah you'll get to see us on the next episode of monday motivations but make sure you check out the two episodes with dr lumia borsch they say borich. right borch it's like I, pronounce it with a ch at the end instead of the c borch bor borch Borch. Not, not borscht like this like Bor the, borscht like, what borscht. is that borscht is uh <laughs> that's like a vegetable a pickled vegetable it borich 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 yeah all right anyway, and let me is off awesome. okay, you're gonna really enjoy those yeah so. let me is great well <clears throat> for those of you listening i'll just go ahead and take us out if, if you want kevin or you can you can take us out okay yeah. <laughs> well, you don't need my permission <laughs> Okay, touche. All right. Well, those for those listening, um, make sure to join us for the next Monday motivations and uh, or check out the episodes coming up or join the changephysician.com. Whether you're a physician or a physician ally, we'd love to have you join us. And until next time, take care. Stay well, folks. Click, click, click. Click, click, click.